Hello, my sweet, awesome Pisces. I miss you guys so much. I love you. Thank you for your beautiful energy, guys. I have a moon in Pisces, so I definitely relate to you guys emotionally. Um, love you. Thank you for blessing me with your beautiful energy. Let's see what's going on, Pisces. My sweet Pisces people. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces. For Pisces, highest good. So, Pisces, you want a soulmate reading. That's what we're going to do. First part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you. What you'll be dealing with facing. How to best handle it for your highest good. Second part of this video, Pisces, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whether you are currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate. How they are relating to you at this time, especially emotionally. And what's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling? So let's do this, Pisces. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces. For Pisces, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Pisces. And Pisces. The relationship between the two. What's coming towards Pisces? What will Pisces be dealing with, facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good. What is coming towards Pisces? Wow, page of cups. That's beautiful. Wow, the sun. Wow, this is you feeling love, real love, real soul connection with your soulmate. For a lot of you, there is a child in your life. Whether it's your child or somebody else's child that you feel close to. Uh, you know that soul from many lifetimes, so you feel special bond with that child, whether it's boy or girl. It's a youngster, somebody young, under age 18. You feel strong emotional connection. Yeah, you guys know each other from many lifetimes. So even though for a lot of you it's not your own child, but you feel bond with them like this, you know this. So in some of those lifetimes, it was your child. Yeah, what a strong soul connection you have with that youngster. Oh, yeah, my gosh, Pisces, your person is not good at communication. Look at this. Yeah, your soulmate is wishy-washy. Your, your soulmate is wishy-washy. Yeah. You feel very guarded towards your soulmate. There's no communication, sporadic communication, silent treatments. You feel very guarded. You feel frozen. You, you don't know what to do. It's like you want to communicate, but you're restraining yourself. You feel like you've communicated enough. Like you've, you've, you you were the first one to always communicate. You, you, you're tired. It's like you're leaving the ball in the court to do something, find me, to extend the olive branch to you for a change. So, yeah, you are tired. You are tired. Uh, there's not enough because you see, it's an ace of swords is always good, but in this particular deck, the ace of swords is pointing south instead of north. So, you, you're tired of inconsistent communication with this individual. They, they're not coming through uh, consistently. It's like you, you feel abandoned. Yeah, you feel very guarded with your heart. Yeah, so your soulmate is showing up here as very slow to action. They're serious about you, but they don't act like it because they're so slow to communication, to, to taking action. Wow. Pisces, they have a lot of respect for you. You are an empress, whether you're male or female, on top of the sun card. So this person placed you on a pedestal. They have a lot of respect for you. This person feels intimidated by your inner strength, inner power. They feel like they don't deserve you. They don't think very highly of themselves. So this person has been through some very turbulent times in their life and they look down on themselves. They view you as an empress and they view themselves as a page and the knight, even though they are an adult. So they feel like they're not deserving of you. They've placed you on a pedestal. Wow, this person has a lot of passion though. Yeah, they are slow in communication. Yeah, they are. 
but this person has a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion. Look at this. Very frisky towards you. This is you waiting, 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 waiting for them to grow up. This is you waiting patiently. This person is really trying your patience. So we didn't even ask about them yet and they already showing up in your reading. Wow, look at this, the sun and the sun. So you know your soulmate from many other lifetimes. So you were together in other lifetimes. Look at this, you ready for change in this craziness over here. You don't wanna deal with any wishy-washy behavior. Major change showing up here. So this is you changing your approach with this person. Maybe you recently placed the bow in their court and are stopping communication. You are re restraining yourself from reaching out again and again and again while they are uh, giving you silent treatment. So you said enough is enough. And here it shows you are changing your strategy with this person and it's better for you. It's gonna work out better for you. This person wants to reconcile with you, be on good, friendly terms with you. They don't want you out of their life. You see, this is you. Don't let this person confuse you. Yeah, their wishy-washy behavior is a reflection on them, not on you. So don't let this person confuse you. Don't wait by the phone on this person. Live your life like you don't know them. Uh, don't chase them. Empress never chases anybody. Yeah, don't ask them. Uh, you already did what you were supposed to do. Now it's up to them to prove themselves if they are truly worthy of you being in their life. Yeah, what a soul connection you two have. Oh my God, look at this combination, judgment with the lovers. So the two of you were together in matrimony many lifetimes. Here is you being very strong, re uh, restraining yourself from too much communication because they are not, uh, they are not coming through with communication. This is you loving yourself first and foremost and saying no to uh, anything that feels toxic to you, draining to you. So this has been draining to you. This person is not responsive enough. Yeah, they don't participate. It's like you doing everything. You are exhausted. You said enough is enough. So you have your self-love, self-worth over here. I respect you. I commend you, Pisces. I commend you. I respect you for this. Yes, even though you love them, you're not putting up with any nonsense by all means. Beautiful Pisces, I love you. Beautiful energy to show up on you. And you know, universe does not sugarcoat. They show it as it is. <clears throat> if there are certain things we're not supposed to know in advance, they won't show it to us. <clears throat> but when they do show something, they show the truth. They don't sugarcoat, they don't lie. Let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces. For Pisces, high is good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Pisces, the soulmate of Pisces, no matter what sign or gender they are collectively. What is going on with the soulmate of Pisces? And how is the soulmate of Pisces currently relating to Pisces at this time, especially emotionally and what's on their mind? Wow, for some reason you have two extra messages from them. Let's see what's going on with them. Yeah, they feel the same for you. They feel love for you, but they, they hesitant. Yeah, they quiet, silent treatments. They are the silent type. When they feel emotions, deep emotions for somebody, they freeze. <clears throat> yeah, you see, you see. You're dealing with somebody who is not mature. They spying on you. They're very sneaky. They spying on you. Yeah, they have a lot of respect for you. So they intimidated by your strength. They view you as very strong. This is how they view themselves and this is how they are. Not consistent, not reliable, not grounded. And this is how they view you. Grounded, responsible, reliable, consistent, attractive. They're very attracted to you. They view you as very independent not needing anybody for anything. 
This is the minor arcana of the empress. So they have a lot of respect for you. They feel they don't deserve you. Yeah. This person feels they honest with themselves. They feel they don't deserve you. Yeah. At this time, at least. Look at this communication showing up here. Yeah. See, this person is in your life for a reason. You met them for a reason. You know them from many lifetimes. A lot of you are dealing with a Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, and uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All signs are popping through. It looks like there will be a reunion. So you're going to hear from this person. Yeah. Now, how you react to them and talk to them will be up to you. But this person is planning to reunite with you, talk with you. But they're very inconsistent, very mature, spying on you too. See, they know they need to be more consistent. Reciprocity showing up here, that they need to put in work into this. Oh my gosh. This person, this person is going through a lot of internal turmoil. Yeah, look at this. They're not consistent in communication. Yeah, you see? This is this is them. Not consistent in communication. Scared. They're intimidated by you. They find you to be stronger than them. Cons more consistent than them. See? Page of Cups again. So this person feels love for you. They don't know how to go about this. They're confused right now. They know what they feel, but they're confused on how to proceed. Very wishy-washy energy. Wishy-washy. They're not sure how you really feel about them, if you truly like them or not. Sometimes they feel you like them, and next time they around you or uh, communicate with you, they're not sure. This person is uh, hoping, wishing that this will work out, but they're scared. This person is very intimidated uh, emotionally. Not consistent in communication. Whenever there are inconsistencies in communication in relationships, not just romantic relationships, there are problems between people. So people need to communicate better. Yeah, that seems to be the problem. Let's see. Let's clarify this universe. The soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time. Wow, they view you as a little different towards them, like more guarded towards them, not trusting, more guarded emotionally. And for you to have sword pointing south, not north, in this particular deck shows that you are very disappointed in them. Like you feel you've done all you could do, now it's up to them. Yeah, you want to walk away from them. My goodness. Yeah, you do. You want to walk away from them. You want to walk away from them. They feel like you've given up on them. Yeah, this is you being fed up, heading, having enough of nonsense. Uh, you don't want to play any mind games. This is you walking away, maybe temporarily. You've given up on them. You, you're tired of nonsense. You want to see some real work put in by them. Ooh, three of swords. This person hurts you disappointed you greatly emotionally you are greatly disappointed but you're not expressing it to people around you you're not discussing it but you are heartbroken by this person this person is very immature they love you but they yeah you see this person wants to take action towards you but they wishy-washy there it is again Nine of Swords, wishy-washy, no communication of any significance. View you, They view you as somebody very important to them, but yet they're not acting like it. They're not communicating like it. Um, let's go into the extended reading, Pisces, and ask about your soulmate's current, true, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. Anything they're hiding from you at this time, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, 
job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys, and thank you for your beautiful letters.